This protocol helps us determine how alterations in local biomechanics, tissue architecture, paracrine environments, and juxtacrine interactions influence cellular phenotype. This technique allows us to explore classic paradigms in experimental embryology without causing the large-scale tissue insults that normally arise in traditional grafting experiments. To find the right pressure for injection, it's helpful to start at a lower injection pressure and increase incrementally until a steady flow of cells is achieved. Visualizing this technique helps in achieving a direct understanding of how the injection equipment needs to be positioned in relation to the target tissue. Demonstrating the procedure will be two members of my laboratory, Trevor Henley and Candace Thomas. Twenty-four hours before the implantation, pull glass capillaries on a micropipette puller according to standard protocols. And dip the capillaries in siliconizing agent to coat the external surfaces of the needles. Next, load 5 to 10 microliters of siliconizing agent into a microinjection pipette tip. And place the tip in the wide end of one externally coated pulled glass capillary. Position the pipette tip as close to the glass needle tip as possible and eject the siliconizing agent while slowly retracting the loading pipette to minimize air bubbles within the needle. Leave the siliconizing agent in the glass needle for 10 minutes before using a new loading pipette to aspirate the solution. Then dry the needles in a fume hood overnight. For host embryo preparation, incubate fertilizer.